In this video, I'm going to show you how you can analyze any market discourse in a few simple steps so that in the end you see what are the main concepts inside, what are the main topics and high-level ideas, how they're connected, and most importantly, what are the gaps between them so you can generate new ideas for this market that will be relevant and at the same time surprising for the customer. Keep watching to learn how it works. So first of all, you need to open Infranotus and go to the apps page, market research, and then you can choose several sources here. In our case, we will use a website analysis. So we will analyze the content of the websites that uh, are providing consulting services in the field of innovation. And then we click Save. And then what happens here is that uh, Infranotus automatically extracts the content of those websites. So uh, we had about 14 of them here and then uh, uh, represents them as a network graph where the words that those websites use are the nodes and the co-occurrences are the connections between them. Based on this, we can quickly see what are the main concepts and terms uh, that they use when they talk about their business. So it gives us a pretty good understanding of the current discourse, especially among our competitors. As you can see on the graph here, we have some irrelevant information uh, which is concerning cookies and functionalities, so this is something that we don't need. And we can basically select all this and uh, hide it from the graph, like that. And then it's gonna be much more relevant information. Also, if something seems obvious, like innovation strategy, because obviously all those companies are into innovation strategy, we can also select those terms and remove them. We can also use the feature here, reveal underlying ideas. That means that we remove all the obvious stuff from the graph to see what's hiding behind. And then we can use uh, uh, GPT-3 AI to interpret those uh, topical clusters which were identified in this discourse and to generate some interesting interpretation of what they actually mean. So we click on the button here and it will generate the names for those topics. And we can see that a lot of them are talking about design thinking uh, here, uh, growth consulting, future partnerships, so something about the future and how important it is to work together and market analysis. So we get a pretty good understanding of the discourse. We can also align this graph a little bit better so the view is a little bit clearer. And uh, this is already a really good way to understand uh, their lingo. And if we want to kind of embed ourselves into this market, we could either you know, use the same words or if we're writing articles for search engine optimization, we can also use all this analytics. We can actually write down all these insights from the analytics panel into this project notes panel and later generate some content based on that. So here I'm gonna save it, uh, some of these insights, and then we move on. So basically when, when, once you have this initial representation, what you can do after is also go into the gap analysis. And what happens here is that Infranodus identifies uh, what is the structure of this network and what are the gaps inside. And if we click highlight, it's going to highlight two clusters that could be connected, but are not connected yet so well. And in our case, it's the cluster on market analysis and future partnerships. We can also click here to see more concepts that are contained in this cluster. So for example, one on the Market analysis is, is about understanding the customer and the market through analyzing data, okay? And another one is on future partnerships, so how you can create future opportunities through partnerships and collaborations, okay? And Infranotus proposes us to think of a connection between those two topics here. It identifies this gap to show us that there is something that could be generated here, like a bridge which would connect uh, those two topics in an interesting way. And th the idea that you would generate would be relevant because it's touching upon the topics that your competition is actually talking about, but it's combining them in a completely new way. So this is why it can be really interesting for you to explore. And if you cannot think of any connection, you can also use built-in GPT-3 AI to generate the connection for you. But I think here it's pretty obvious that when you talk about partnerships and collaboration market analysis, maybe it could be uh, a service or a company which is proposing uh, to uh, create a platform, for instance, where different companies could exchange uh, uh, their ideas about uh, customer support or how they work with the customers, um, different methodologies to analyze customer behavior and so on to, to also define what their needs uh, and demands are. 
something like this. But we can also use GPT-3 AI and generate a research question that would help us think in this direction. So you can regenerate a few of them because it doesn't always come up with uh, really precise results, but this is a really good way to, to start thinking about this problem. Or you can also generate a business idea uh, using this AI bridge the gap feature, which will generate uh, a ready-made idea. And by the way, you can also go here and you know just change the module to ideation, and then it's going to come up with some almost business ideas for this particular topic. So here you see it's talking about an idea to create an online platform that would help customers understand and define their job opportunities in the market while helping them share relevant information with partners to create big opportunities in the future. The platform will focus on the customer and their needs while utilizing the ODIs to process. Okay, so we actually don't need this part because it was uh, not so relevant, but maybe this is good, define their job opportunities in the market, so some kind of platform. We can save it to our project notes and we have some more insights uh, based on the structural gap information that we detected here. So this is how you would analyze the websites of companies. If you're still interested, there is another way to uh, analyze market discourse. And this is a really good way that can be really useful. So you go to the apps page, market research, and then you choose contextual supply. And what happens here is that Infranotice uh, will import the top Google search results for a certain query. In this way, uh, the case is going to be innovative consulting. So I'm just going to type this in. What happens here is that it extracts top 40 search results and visualizes them as a graph. So you can quickly see what are the main concepts that are contained inside and how they relate to one another. Then you can also generate the topical cluster uh, for each of those subjects, right? Um, you can also click on some of those nodes to see in which context they're used. So for example, if I'm interested in professional consultant and consultancy, let's just say professional consultant, and then I click here, I see the exact result that contains those, those terms. By the way, you could also do this for the study of your competitors' websites as well. Just get to the part of the text where they're talking about a particular combination of terms. Okay, so here I also noticed something that I wrote innovative consulting, but actually I'm interested in innovation consulting. So I can add this search result to the graph and it's going to be enhanced with these extra results on another search query. And then because I'm, we're talking about innovative, it's of course quite obvious, so I delete it from the graph, hide it temporarily to see what are the terms uh, that are used with, the, with, with this topic of innovative consulting. And here I see that it's a lot about service solutions. This is how the companies are talking about themselves. I can also click to see which search results. Okay, they, they say that they offer solutions and services and so on. Okay, so we see that a lot of Google search results on innovation consulting is focused on services and solutions. While interestingly, the content was more focused on the specific stuff that they actually provide, you know, design thinking, uh, collaboration and so on. So this could be an interesting insight for us to also compare those graphs and to see what exists in uh, uh, the company's descriptions of themselves that doesn't exist in Google search results, how they're different. And to do that, we choose the graph comparison feature here on the left and then uh, you can actually see combinations. So you can also see how things are similar, but in this case, we're interested in how they're different from one another. And then we'll compare this Google search results discourse to the company's uh, websites discourse. And when we combine them together, we can see here it says difference in URL. So this was the URLs or the websites analyzed, but not in Google search results. And it shows us, okay, of course, all this cookie stuff was not there. so. Uh, let's remove that and see what's hiding behind it. Okay, so there was something about human-centric platforms, improving understanding, ensuring uh, expertise from the start, and insight. So all those terms were not so much present in Google search results, but they were present on uh, the websites of, cast, um, of our competition. So this can be an interesting way to also see, you know, how, how we could enhance uh, the results on Google by adding something about human-centric design, for example, and 
does stand out from the rest while at the same time also talking about all the things that we're actually already talking about. We can also reverse this comparison by clicking this button here and see what presents what exists in Google search results but not on the company's website's description. There's actually not much but there are some notes. Uh, engineering consulting. So engineering was not such a big topic on the actual uh, results and that means that maybe there is some opportunity in providing consultancies on specific market niches. And uh, this perhaps could be also interesting for the descriptions on the website as well, that we don't only say that we offer innovative consulting, but that we also write about the specific areas where this could be applied to make our, our offer more specific. So this is in a nutshell how it works. You get a visualization of the main topics, the connections between them, then you perform Google search analysis. So this is uh, analyzing informational supply. Uh, and then you compare the graphs together and basically generate some ideas for your business or for any content that you want to write to attract customers who would be interested in this particular business. Try it out on infernotice.com. Thank you.